Are you sure you're Jason Anderson? Because this is the most clean cut I think I've ever seen you. Um, yeah, I got threatened. <laughs> uh, Today I had to clean shave because Bobby said we had to for photos. But So I got a haircut, I'm clean shaved, and uh, I think that's the most I've been asked that question more than any other question yeah. all, all night. So uh, I'm not shocked. So. No, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's not the usual. But, uh, yeah, I feel like I got ready for today. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll grow this thing out again for uh, Anaheim 1. Well, when the helmet's on, you're all clean cut anyway. So Yeah, yeah. Hey, coming into last year, it was obvious you had speed. But was there also a plan on how you wanted the season to play out? Uh, yeah, I think you always have a plan, but uh, at the at the end of the day, a lot of those guys are fast, and uh, sometimes whenever you know the the racing starts, anything can happen. And luckily, I was able to um, be pretty good at racing. I felt like I was pretty calm and cool under the pressure, and I feel like I always put myself in pretty good positions. So, um, and, and I did have things go my way, you know. So um, I'm hoping that I could be maybe a little bit better than I was last year, and um, still. Uh, carry on with the same, I guess, tactics uh, as I as I did this year. Looked like you took a, a little bit of a page from Dungey's playbook and yeah, take points when you can and yeah. and don't do dumb things when you don't. I mean, the obviously it would be nice to be able to go out and win every race, but I think the uh, the biggest thing was is just trying to be the best you can every night and and I think our sport right now I don't think you're going to be the fastest guy all 17 rounds and I think you just got to come to terms with that and and uh, sometimes you got to uh, swallow your pride and uh, just kind of take the seconds and take the thirds and uh, not try and and kill yourself to try and get that win every night you know so um, but also I think getting good starts and being in a good position is is, is so important right now we saw some of the challenges like the the wheel in Utah things yeah like that what were maybe some of the things that we didn't see behind the scenes? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I had a couple of things that, uh, you know, that that weren't always going my way behind the scenes. But, uh, I mean, for the most part, I had I, after I crashed in Daytona, I, I hurt my shoulder a little bit. But it wasn't anything that would uh, maybe stop me from practicing a couple days. Um, and then other than that, I mean, it's just for the most part maybe like getting sick a few times here or there or, you know a, a cold or whatever but um one of the bigger things is that when I crashed in Salt Lake after that I hurt my thumb pretty good and and that was a thing but I mean I think everyone has little issues going on throughout the year so I mean I don't I think if you don't have issues you kind of you're dodging some bullets that's for sure I think you're very very fortunate so I think um I think what I went through was very normal and uh Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, lucky to not have any other injuries other than that, you know, just with uh, with how our sport is nowadays. Checking with CeeLo earlier, he, he was telling me that you're not a huge fan of running the number one. Obviously, the bike's sitting over mm -hmm. there with it tonight, but yeah. is, is it kind of a different deal having that, that number on there? Yeah, I feel like I'm uh, number 21. You know, I've, I've ran the number 21 for, for a while, and, and that's my number. And uh, number one's cool, but I just want to hold it one time over my head, uh, at Vegas and then after that uh, throw it up on the on the mantle and that's about it I could care less about that so um, I would really like to run the number 21 but you're not allowed to anymore um, so I guess I'll sport the number one so but but it's, it's cool you know I'm, I'm lucky to be able to run it but at the same time I just want to go out there racing and and that's kind of that's all I really want to do you know I want to try my best go out there race and uh, I really enjoy myself when I'm when I'm doing that it adds a whole lot more attention, doesn't it? It, it does. You know, that's that's probably like uh, the hardest part about winning the championship is all all the obligations and um, the requirements that come after it. You know, um, I'm not a big fan of all that stuff, but um, I ended up. Uh, you know, I guess I I have to do it if you if you win the championship. But you know, I know at the end of the day, what makes me happy is racing and uh, fighting for wins and stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna do the best I can and. Uh, I guess all that, that BS stuff comes with it. Last year was more California-based kind of preseason for you. Mm -hmm. How's it going to work out this year? I'm going back to Florida pretty soon. Um, I uh, Last year I stayed out here. A big reason was to develop the new bike. Um, I know a lot of people speculated on like trainers and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, I did do my own thing and I do. Um, I, the training, I do all the same. Um, as far as the riding and stuff, um, I believe in certain things that I want to 
be able to focus on by myself some days and some days that's that's what I want to do and and um, I'm gonna do it how I want to do it you know I, I believe in the way I go about things and sometimes I think that uh, kind of made people think that I was just like you know not wanting to be a part of the whole program kind of blowing it off yeah like I was blowing it off but it's not like I no lack of motivation or anything but people honestly were super stressed you know about the whole deal but I, I knew what I was doing you know so um, and I guess winning the championship kind of helped that there's room in the program to let Jason be Jason yeah and it's not even about just letting me be me it's about me really doing things that I really believe in and I think believing in yourself is one of the biggest things to performing and being the best uh, motorcycle racer you could be well good luck this season it'll be fun to watch you defend it out there thank you